Happy St. Patrick's Day, Skyhawk fans. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, while March Madness gets going today with 16 games, I appreciate you stopping by for episode number five, where we're going to be looking at number six, five, and four on the all-time list of Point University women's uh, soccer and as far as goal scoring goes. So I appreciate you stopping by and looking at this. If you are on here for the very first time, um, you know, thank you for stopping by. Uh, go ahead and, and uh, subscribe. We've got more content coming. Uh, we got to finish this list and we'll have some more stuff coming up after that. Uh, and also give us a like. And um, we obviously appreciate you tuning in. And if this is, um, you know, number five for you, we appreciate you along for the ride. And um, this video uh, has, again, like I said, number six, five, and four. And these three combined for a total of 87 goals uh, in their career. So uh, we've got a lot of goals to take a look at today. So uh, if you're quite ready, let us begin. Hey, coming in at number 22 in a tie, Christabel Rangel with nine goals. And she's tied with Aaron Elmore also with nine goals. Coming in in a tie at number 19, a three-way tie, first Dawn Mulkey. Danielle Ellis and Sierra Benz, all tied at number 19. Coming in at number 18, Vanessa Stewart, scoring 11 goals. Coming in at number 16 in a tie, Ashley Ventura, tied with Brandy Schock, with 12 goals. Also tied at number 16, Vanessa Lara, with 12 goals. Four-way tie at number 11. First, Renee Delvant with 13. Kara Bannister also scoring 13. Jessica Torres scoring 13. And current player, Carrie Benilla, currently set at 13. At number 10, Jasmine Marquez with 14 goals. At number 9, Sam Chan with 18 goals scored. Number eight, Kelly Everett with 22 goals scored and current player, Kelly Carlisle with 23. Coming in now at number six, Sabria Marquez with 25 goals scored. Sabria scored, uh, played for the Skyhawks from 2016 to 2019. She primarily played an outside mid and Sabria led the team in goals in uh, 2017 and then had two playoff winning goals in the AAC in 2017 and 2019. This first goal is pretty grainy. Um, this is against Bryan College in 2019. And she was actually playing in the back this day. And you can see her stepping and winning the ball and basically goes on a solo run, um, taking her defenders to the left and then shooting back across the keeper and this wound up being the game winner that day. This was also the game winner against Columbia College and this would have been in 2017 on senior night. The ball coming in from Sierra Benz and Sabria meeting the ball and beating the keeper lower right. This is at Thomas College, 2018, getting a feed from Kerry Benia and just burying it back post. This is at home in 2017. That is Madison Plemons playing the ball, going off the crossbar, and then Sabria following up. This again against Union College, the same game. She gets a feed from her sister and comes in and drives the ball past the keeper upper right. This goal is in the playoffs. Um, in 2019 and this is against Columbia International in sudden death and you can see this shot and even though it's obscured by the score um, that it was a game winner and you can see everybody celebrating so that was a big goal that season put us into the quarterfinals.
Coming in at number four, we have a two-way tie at num- at, uh, with 31 goal score, Wendy Mendoza. She played for ACC in point from 2010 to 2013. She played almost exclusively up top as a forward in her career and led the team in goals in 2010. She was named the NCCA Division II South All-Region team both in 2010 and 2011. Also named NCCA Division II All-American for both 2010 and 2011. Taking a look at some of her goals, this is against Tacoa Falls in 2010. A um, little bit blurry, uh, but a uh, big goal nonetheless. This is against Kentucky Christian. This feed coming in from Ashley Ventura and just a first time finish. This uh, goal was just minutes into the game. This is against Johnson Bible. She was sent through on a run over the top and was able to chip the keeper. This is against Judson College in 2010. And she comes in on the keeper here, just makes a little fake and puts it away. Again, this is at home on the East Point campus back in 2010. This is in the national tournament in 2010 uh, in Kissimmee, Florida. And we are in white, the ball being played. This is um, a ball she receives from Brandy Shock. And then the, um, another player involved in there, but she's able to get a hold of this first time. I think that came from Alex Pennington, actually. So, 31 goals for Wendy Mendoza, tied at number four. And she is tied with a teammate of hers for three seasons, Neri Martinez, with 31 goals scored. Mary played for the Skyhawks from 2011 to 2014. She led the team in goals in 2011 with 19 in one of the best seasons in Skyhawk history as far as goals being scored. She was named the 2011 uh, NCCA All-South team and also 2014 Division I All-Region team. She was named 2011 Division II uh, Tournament Best Offensive Player and to also the NCCA Division II All-American First Team. This first goal is against one of our arch rivals back then, Tacoa Falls. She will steal the ball, take it, use the outside of her right foot to beat the keeper and bend it around her into the back post. Scored a brace against Wesleyan College that year, taking a feed from Wendy Mendoza just burying the ball. Minutes later, you can see Ashley Ventura on the give and go and then Wendy Mendoza feeding her to the middle, setting her up and putting it behind the keeper. This is a game against Tennessee Temple at Camp Jordan. It was just backed off of her and she was able to slam the ball past the keeper. Nice goal, good celebration. This was one of the bigger goals in Point University history. Um, this is against Clearwater Christian in the um, South Region Finals. Can't really see what happens here, but you all of a sudden see Wendy Mendoza and he hits it over. playing the ball through. And he's given Tenary Northland International University finish. one more lifeline. They can even it up now here at three in the third round of penalty kicks. And then at that point, it just becomes sudden death every round. It's going to be dangerous right here. Um, Neri Martinez lining up to take the free kick here. Yeah, I mean, this is not Noel strong point, so. That's a great free kick, and that's going to be in the upper 90. Free kick goal, Neri Martinez, number 10, Point University. Absolutely fantastic shot. Had the bend, moving from center outward, and she buries it in the upper 90. 1-0, to zero Point yeah. University. Gotta, wow. I, mean, I got to be honest. I mean, that that's uh, sometimes you just have to say that's a great free kick, and that's a great free kick. There's absolutely <laughs> nothing no. any keeper could do about no, that I mean, one. That when you right bury it that high. Yeah. I mean, that's that's just a beautiful penalty shot. Fan. 
Hey, I hope you enjoyed that, taking a look back at the goals from Sabria, from Neri, and Wendy. And those are numbers six, five, and four. Next week, we are going to be focusing on one player. So the last three reveals are going to have their own um, episode. So be looking forward to looking at our third uh, leading scorer in history in episode six. And we will put that on March 24th, next Thursday. But for now, enjoy your March Madness. Thank you again for stopping by. And uh, let's go Skyhawks.